Another day, another story. Chorophobia is no laughing matter. This irrational fear of clowns can cause panic and nausea. Although it's a rare phobia, many people find clowns creepy if not downright scary. Welcome to Tarbo Eminent Channel. Why? The answer lies partly in the prevalence of evil clowns in popular culture, think Pennywise in Stephen King's It, 1986. However, according to researchers, there are actual psychological reasons why we fear clowns. To begin with, a clown's makeup can be unsettling. It hides not only the person's identity but also that person's feelings. Worse, the makeup can result in mixed signals if, for example, the clown has a painted on smile but is frowning. Then, there's the uncanny nature of the makeup itself. The oversized lips and eyebrows distort the face so that the brain perceives it as human but slightly off. That oddness is heightened by a clown's bizarre costume. In addition, clowns are highly unpredictable as well as mischievous, which puts people on edge. Are they going to squirt water at you or give you a flower? These psychological discomforts produce a fear that is then stoked by negative portrayals of clowns in popular culture. According to some, 1970s American serial killer John Wayne Gacy, who performed as Pogo the Clown at charity events and children's parties, solidified the idea of the evil clown, and that trope became common in horror movies and books. So perhaps it's not surprising that a 2016 poll found that Americans were more afraid of clowns than of a terrorist attack or even dying. The fear of clowns, known as cholrophobia, is a relatively common phenomenon, though not everyone experiences it. There are several reasons why some people find clowns unsettling or frightening. Uncanny appearance, clowns often wear exaggerated makeup, colorful costumes, and oversized shoes, creating an appearance that can be perceived as unusual or unnatural. The distortion of facial features and expressions may trigger discomfort. Masked identity, the heavy makeup and disguises that clowns wear can make it difficult to discern their true emotions or intentions. This ambiguity can be unsettling, as humans often rely on facial expressions to gauge emotions and intentions. Unpredictability, clowns are often associated with unpredictable behavior, exaggerated gestures, and slapstick comedy. For some individuals, the uncertainty of what a clown might do next can be anxiety-inducing. Cultural depictions, popular media, including movies and television shows, have sometimes portrayed clowns in a sinister or malevolent light. Examples include horror movies like it by Stephen King or the Joker character in Batman comics and films. Fear of the unknown, some people fear what they cannot fully understand or predict. Clowns, with their unusual appearance and unpredictable behavior, may trigger this fear of the unknown. Childhood experiences, negative experiences or traumas related to clowns during childhood can contribute to a lasting fear. Unpleasant encounters, whether real or through media, can create a lasting impression. Harlequin's Legacy Once upon a time in the small town of Crestwood, there was an annual carnival that brought joy and laughter to the community. The highlight of the carnival was always the performance by the beloved clown, Harlequin. With his colorful costume, exaggerated makeup, and infectious laughter, Harlequin was adored by children and adults alike. However, a tragic incident during one of the carnival nights changed everything. A malfunctioning prop caused a sudden loud noise, startling Harlequin as he performed. In his attempt to entertain and reassure the frightened audience, he stumbled and fell, inadvertently causing more chaos. The children, who once giggled at his antics, now watched in terror as their beloved clown seemed transformed into a clumsy, unpredictable figure. As a result of the incident, rumors spread throughout Crestwood about Harlequin's strange behavior. Some claimed he was cursed, while others believed he had become a different person entirely. The once cheerful atmosphere surrounding the carnival turned somber, and parents began warning their children to stay away from clowns. The town's perception of clowns shifted dramatically, and the legend of Harlequin's unfortunate mishap lingered for generations. Parents who had witnessed the incident passed down their fear to their children, and cholrophobia became deeply rooted in the town's culture. 
Fast forward to the present day, and we meet Sarah, a young woman born and raised in Crestwood. Despite the passing years, the story of Harlequin continued to haunt the town. Sarah's parents, who had been present during that fateful carnival night, instilled in her a fear of clowns from an early age. Sarah's friends often invited her to attend the annual carnival, but she always found excuses to avoid it. The mere thought of encountering a clown triggered anxiety, and she couldn't shake the image of Harlequin's stumbling performance. As she grew older, Sarah's fear of clowns began to impact her daily life. She would steer clear of circus-themed events, and even the mention of clowns would make her uneasy. One day, a traveling circus arrived in Crestwood, promising a spectacular show that would erase the town's lingering fears. Sarah's friends, eager to help her overcome her phobia, convinced her to attend. As the circus unfolded before her eyes, Sarah couldn't escape the memories of Harlequin's mishap. The clowns, with their painted faces and unpredictable antics, only intensified her anxiety. However, as the grand finale approached, a surprising twist awaited. The lead clown, recognizing the town's troubled history with clowns, stepped forward to address the audience. In a heartfelt speech, he acknowledged the past and expressed genuine sorrow for the fear that had taken root in Crestwood. He reassured the audience that the circus was there to bring joy, not fear. This unexpected gesture touched Sarah's heart. Slowly, as the circus continued, her fear began to subside. By the end of the night, Sarah realized that not all clowns were like Harlequin, and she had the power to reshape her perceptions. The traveling circus became a turning point for Crestwood, gradually healing the wounds of the past. While cholerophobia might never completely vanish from the town's collective memory, the story of Harlequin's legacy showed that sometimes, a new narrative could emerge, bringing with it a renewed sense of joy and laughter. The Clown's Redemption In the bustling city of Eldoria, the circus was an annual extravaganza that enchanted both young and old. The star of the show was a once famous clown named Felix Funnybone, known for his charismatic performances that had the power to turn any frown upside down. Children eagerly anticipated his arrival, and parents cherished the memories of watching Felix's antics with their little ones. However, not everyone in Eldoria shared the enthusiasm for Felix. In a small neighborhood, there lived a young girl named Lily whose fear of clowns had a unique origin. Her grandmother, a longtime resident of Eldoria, had once been a close friend of Felix. They had shared laughter, dreams, and an unbreakable bond. It's important to note that not everyone is afraid of clowns, and perceptions of clowns can vary widely among individuals. Cholerophobia is a specific phobia, and like other phobias, it can be influenced by a combination of personal experiences, cultural factors, and individual sensitivities. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.